Zombie Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance, your host. And today what I thought to do is change gears a little bit and talk about hardware. I wanted to show you what the Merlin 8 editor looked like. Unfortunately, this requires a Apple IIe that's been enhanced. So we can't run it on the Apple II Plus, and my Apple IIe was originally unenhanced. So what I did is instead I built a programmer using an Arduino to actually create the ROMs necessary uh, to make my Apple II be enhanced. So what does that mean? So first of all, in your uh, Apple IIe, there's four chips that need to get replaced. Uh, the one is the 65CO2, uh, which is the main CPU, and then there's three ROMs. And there's two ROMs that are uh, the CD and EF ROMs, and then the third one is the video ROM. And originally these were uh, ROMs that were pro programmable using UV light, uh, and usually like uh, 24 volts. Um, and I didn't want to bother to mess around with that, so instead I'm going to replace them with EEPROMs, e -E uh, which you can actually easily program, uh, say, using an Arduino or any sort of modern programmer. So it's easy enough to get 65 CO2s, um, so you can get those online for cheap. And then you can also just buy large quantities of uh, C64 chips. These are actually um, uh, 28 C64s, um, and those will work fine to replace the uh, ROMs in the original 2E. Um, so let's go upstairs and I'll show you what the Arduino programmer looks like. Okay, so here we see the Arduino programmer. It consists of two 74HC595 shift registers and these allow us to input addresses up to 16 bits wide using only three pins from the Arduino. We're using an Arduino Uno for our uh, programmer and you can see that uh, we've got the address lines going to the 595 and then the data lines going to the chip which we're trying to program. Here we're programming a 28 uh, C64 which is a 64K EE prom and then finally we have a set of LEDs uh, just to monitor the state of the address uh, bits that are going into the shift registers. Okay, so the first thing we do is just plug the programmer into the laptop and then we'll fire up the Arduino software. Okay, over on the computer we've uh, got the Arduino software loaded and the Arduino uses a uh, version of the C uh, langu programming language and our program consists of three pieces. There are some headers at the top then a huge data block with all of our uh, EEPROM code and then finally at the bottom is all of our read and write code. Um, so the first thing we want to do is actually just select the um, upload to the uh, UNO and so you can see that's actually transferring the program over to the UNO and we're actually transferring the data over to the uh, EEPROM in the UNO and then we'll transfer it from there into the actual uh, EEPROM chip. Uh, next thing we want to do is once it's transferred we're going to bring up the serial monitor and this will let us um, first of all, interact and start the programmer, and then also see the data as it's being written, and then finally read back out. Uh, when we do that, we actually have a little test uh, LED pattern that uh, lights up just to show that everything's working right. And here you can see we're ready to program, so we'll just hit return, and it'll start writing out all of the bytes um, to the EE prom. And then once everything's written out, we'll just read it back in to verify it. And the cool thing is, is with the LEDs, you can actually just watch the addresses uh, increment um, as it writes the data. And then finally, once it's all done, uh, it'll just read it back in so we can confirm it. And there you have it. It's all programmed, and it looks like all the data was read successfully. Okay, so now that we've programmed all three of our EE problems, it's time to try them out in the Apple IIe. Um, so there's four chips that we have to replace. And again, if you recall, the first one was the actual 6502 needs to be replaced with the 65C02, uh, which has a few additional instructions. Um, not much difference between that and the 6502. Then there's the two ROMs. There's the CD from address C000 to DFFF. And then the EF ROM uh, from E000 to FFFF. And this contains just all the assembly uh, language code to run the computer. And then finally, there's the video ROM, 
Um, the interesting thing about that is it's actually a 2732 chip, uh, so it's only 24 pins instead of 28 pins. Uh, this works fine though because the pins actually um, they line up. So all you need to do is just clip off uh, pins one and two just so they don't touch anything on the board. And then pins 28, 27, and 26 need to get soldered together. Uh, pin 28 on the new chip is actually the power uh, uh, five volt power pin, and so that needs to get hooked up to uh, pin 26, um, which goes into the actual board. And then pin 27 is the right enable, and you just need to um, make sure that that's set at high. And now we're ready to actually try it out. So we've got everything assembled, and we'll just turn on the power. And we should, the first thing we should see is it says Apple 2E um, instead of uh, the old Apple 2 uh, words at the top. And now we're ready to try it. So I've got a program here uh, called Mouse Text. It's just a basic program. We'll load it up and we will see if we now have um, the 65CO2 with the new video ROM and characters. And so I'll just run this program and you can see that at the top there are all the fancy new mouse text characters. So it looks like our experiment was a success and we can go ahead and try out um, all the new software that's available for the uh, enhanced Apple TV. Thanks for watching.